Good morning. <laughs> We're on River Street at Huey's for brunch. On River Street, we just finished breakfast. I'll throw a picture in here because I forgot to take video and it was really kind of loud. But we had a order of beignets, like crepe donut things, and they were delicious. And Will ate eight, and I had four. So we got a dozen. And my limit would have been three, and his was like around seven. This man can pack it away. Um, but there were two left and we didn't want them to go to waste. But now we're just walking down and we caught the Georgia Queen leaving the dock on one of their lunch cruises. This boat is huge. We're at the back of River Street, kind of where the cobblestone road comes down. And why are you happy? Will got some mead. It was good, from the Savannah Bee Company. We did a tasting. It was tasty. Very good. This, let me see if the camera, there it goes, is an old storeroom where they used to store the cotton before exporting, right? Something like that. Well, they definitely weren't importing it. They had plenty. Yeah, well. So, it's like a big old tunnel, basically. Is that a hat in the corner? It's kind of creepy, actually. Yeah. Oh, it's a traffic cone over there, crushed. Dirty. Oh, it's wet. I'm not going in there, it's dripping. Oh, yuck. I'm such a girl. No, luckily. And here are our two cannons. What was, what was the story behind that? Quickly, layman's terms. That they stole guns, captured guns from some union. I don't know. I had to have been Confederate General Washington got them from them and then gifted them to Savannah. And it was rare because like no one stole their guns. Yeah. Like it was really uncommon and the fact that they have two. I'm sure it's up here somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure it's on there, but we're not gonna read it. So they are actually filming Lady and the Tramp a block over from our hotel room. And they've got cars and wagons over there. You can see everyone walking around with walkie-talkies and like passes and these street lights right here are actually fake. This is crazy. They're moving prop lighting and stuff from the best we can tell. So here's more scene set up. This is all prop area. What? And then that's the square back there. Oh my god. See? What'd they call this? Oak Oak Lane? Oak Row? Oak Row? I don't know. You're the one who wanted to come here. You I don't know. know what it is. Wormsville Plantation. Famous road behind us. Bunch of trees. Very pretty. Um, I'm vlogging on my phone because even though I brought my camera, he didn't remind me to get the battery. <laughs> so I don't have my battery with me. So I'll just have to throw this into any, we didn't, we also went to Bonaventure Cemetery this morning, but you're not supposed to take video there. So I didn't. I think I'm supposed to pay a fee to do this. So don't tell on me guys. It is very pretty. Drove all the way out here to look at a road. How silly is that? How silly is that? Very, which is why we're not doing it. We are doing it. We're, we are looking at the road. Oh, well, I meant paying to do it. Oh, no, we're not paying to go do the plantation, like the grounds tour or anything. This is 100% one of those. It's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. Yeah, ready to go. Oh, so we're not going down the road? No, I just wanted pictures of the road. It's down the, the same. Road I've ever known. All the way like a twister down. Or what are you? Along. You're something. So it kind of creeps up on you. You're on this road, and then all of a sudden, you see the Wormslow Historic Site. And there's the arch going in. 1733 to 1913. 
and you can pay for a plantation tour um, or to like walk the grounds way down there like the actual plantation area but we're not going to do that today or at all because we're just not <laughs> It's been four weeks since you called And I've been waiting here for you all along I've been waiting here for you all along Where you been? Where did you go? I wonder if you found what you're looking for Wonder if you found what you're looking for Oh. We made it down to Tidy Island. We are at the beach, but we're not like going to the beach because neither sand in my shoes. Neither of us really care for the beach per se. Um, oh, we're here. We got a few photos. There's a lot of well, not a lot. There's a decent amount of people here, but like nobody in the water except for like four. I'll show you. So we just kind of walked from the parking lot back there. Say hey. Sand. Shoes. We really don't like sand. We're not beach people. Um, so, yeah. The pier is over there. So this guy's having a real good time. Got sand in my shoes and plants trying to kill me. What are these, guys? What are those? I don't know, but I imagine if that was flesh, that hurt a lot. <laughs> wonder if I have any. It's not too late. I want you back. Here with me, we never should have said it's better this way. I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know. Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds. Come on back to me, say that you won't go. I can't cope without you, and I want to hold you close. Say that you won't go. Say that you won't. So multiple hours have passed. We had dinner at Spanky's and now we're on dinner two. It is 9.18 at night. I need more of this in my face. Oh, he needs more of this in his face. I would, he's got his shirt off. Inappropriate. Uh, read the nipple. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. Not huge on You have a tan line or a burn line. Yeah. Check it out. Oh, we got some sun today. So he's flinging tomatoes over in the bed, apparently. Um, I got some sun too. It doesn't look as red on this camera. Nope, never does. No, yours did. Maybe it's the lighting. See? Yeah. So as I mentioned, we I don't when was the last time we talked to them? Beach. Uh, at the beach? I think so. Yeah. After the beach, we well, we FaceTimed the kids, which was nice, and we got to show them the ocean. Did I tell them that? That sounds familiar. I think I said that. Uh, and then we came back to the hotel, and we rested for a little bit. And then we went to River Street, and we checked out some of the monuments and stuff there. Why didn't I take video of that? I'm really slacking. I'm, like, trying to keep up with photos on my phone. You didn't have your camera with you. Oh, I didn't. Oh, yeah, because I left my purse here because I have a crossbody, and it, start it was starting to rub on the burned portions of my body. So we checked out like the Waving Girl and the... The Animal one? Memorial, the Celtic yeah. Cross. All of those. I'm gonna come sit by him because he knows what he's talking about. I'll insert some pictures while I'm chatting. Uh, what did we do after that? We went to dinner before that. We did Spankies and that was really good. I had their five finger chicken platter with their spuds which are like round cut deep fried potato slices. They were really good. I really liked them. And you had a pizza burger. <laughs> and he said that was really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And after that, we walked around a little bit. We went and exchanged his sunglasses that he bought last night because they had a scratch on them. Came back. I'm trying to like... We yeah. came back for a... The exchange. We went to eat. We walked down river yeah. place Street. Street. thing. I said all that. Went into a bunch of places, came back up and around, stopped and saw the different monuments. I said all of that already. Yeah, but I'm doing it chronologically so we don't get lost. Oh, okay. 
And then that's when we came back and chilled for a bit. Yeah, we came back to the hotel Let your room. your feet heal up. Yeah. So I had a blister on my foot from the treadmill a few weeks ago, which if you've been around and watched our vlogs from then, you'll know. And it finally healed and the new skin was growing and like it peeled in like three layers. It was really weird and gross. So now, so when we got here, the first day we were here, we were only here for a few hours, like walking around. Yesterday we walked almost eight miles according to my fitness tracker. So that could obviously be either more or less, but it was like 7.6. Today we had walked almost six miles when we came back to the hotel room. And so that blister was really acting up and I was able to like clean it and get the fluid out because it was filled and putting pressure on it hurt. So then I let my foot just kind of rest for a while and you caught up on some like video games on his Switch and I caught up on some computer stuff and looked into me where we might want to eat breakfast tomorrow and everything. This video is going to be long. I don't know how I'm going to divide all these, but we haven't done really any talking. It's mostly been sightseeing, like video portions. Daily five minute videos or something. Right. Uh, then I decided I needed to have sugar in my face. So I was like, we need to go do dessert. And we decided to go back to Leopold's again because it was good. He wanted a chocolate hot fudge sundae. And I was like, well, we might as well go to Leopold's if you want a sundae because they have the best in town, apparently. So was it good? Well, Every time I come to you, you have food in your mouth and you're, you're chewing. That's what I do. So it was a good sundae? Mm -hmm. It was worth the, what, almost $7? I don't know if it was worth $7. Probably not. I think it was like six something. I had lemon custard ice cream and a waffle cone. It was delicious. It was like light. So I didn't want something like chocolatey and super heavy. So that was good. And then we decided to walk around a little bit. He decided he needed pizza. Late night snacks. Try the local flavor. He's the worst. Apparently this whole vacation is all like food. Pretty much food and alcohol. Yeah. So we walked over to Vinny Van Gogo's and ordered a pizza to go go. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing these windows are sealed. Throw myself out one. Oh, you're don't. <laughs> so we got a pizza to go and go. walked through City Market. Saw someone about to brawl on the corner, and then carried it back. And now we're eating it. Did you have lemon? Lemonade? I thought they were both lemonade. No, I, what I was trying, I think I got strawberry. Son of a! What? I thought they were both lemonade. I would have gotten strawberry. No, I, we can share half and I half. I love you. No, we can share half and half. I want to try the lemonade too. I don't love you enough to share with you. You have spit and cookies we have and stuff. Deadpool. Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Um, we bought corner store drinks because this is cheaper than the $12 martinis. I don't think we talked about that either. I didn't talk about this vlog. I am sorry, guys. You haven't recorded as much. I haven't recorded have. as much. I've been trying to, I don't know. It just, we went to Jen and Friends martinis last night. I had a Biscoff cookie <laughs> martini. The martini glass was rimmed with Biscoff cookie butter. <laughs> Why is that funny? It was a ring. <laughs> it was. Isn't that what you call it? I don't know. That it sounds is. bad. The rim of the glass was lined with Biscoff cookie butter and had a Biscoff cookie with it. And the martini itself was delicious. And you had... Mine was better. Not to me. I liked mine. I had a Klondike bar one. So whatever went into the martini itself. And then they put fudge around the outside edge. Rim. Outside edge. And then put a half of a Klondike bar on there. So even if it was gross, which is what I was banking on, if it happened to be gross, I was getting a Klondike bar out of the deal. And Everybody was it gross? Won. It was good. Yeah. I think his was like just some sort of variation of just a chocolate martini. You have crumbs all over the bed. You this is not the marriage bed. It's You're fine. around it. Look at this. Don't look at my shame. <laughs> uh, so... We had our martinis 
and those were expensive otherwise we probably would have would have went back to try something else or at least i would have but they were like 12 dollars. i probably would have got the same thing <laughs> the are amazing. but all of them come with like if it's a rice crispy treat there's over 300 flavors of martinis i think that's only if you get like one of the fancier ones i'm pretty sure if you just get nope, the strawberry ones because even the strawberry ones and stuff have a strawberry, have a strawberry the strawberry gummy slice of candies oh well, that's not a strawberry. like the grape teeny has like a slight like the gummy slices you know what i'm talking about right Right, you do? Yeah, like the gummy fruit slices. Um, has those on them, and like the pixie stick one comes with pixie sticks, and the Rice Krispie Treat one comes with half a Rice Krispie Treat. So, I mean, you get a little treat with your drink. So that was last night's drinks. We also did, I think I vlogged Wet Willie's, the adult beverage. I'll try to insert pictures of all of our food and drink, because I have taken photos of them, because I've been putting them on Insta stories. So if you're not friends with me on Instagram, I mean, at this point, you've missed it all because they only stay up on Insta stories for 24 hours. But go ahead and follow me over there. I'll throw it up here, the tag up here, or whatever Gross. they call it, username. What? You said throw it up. Oh, I've been talking for eight minutes. This is an entire vlog in and of itself. I got to go. Bye.